Hey guys, Cody here, and uh, in this video I just want to talk to you about like what inspires me to paint. Some people are going to be like, oh, I really don't care, it's what's in it for me, but really uh, the reason I'm making this video is because I want to help people where, like if you don't know why you're painting, you just kind of do, or you know, you want to be inspired, maybe I can tell you what inspires me, and, um, and maybe that will help you, and you know, we'll just kind of talk about that, and hopefully this video will help, maybe it won't. So let me talk about, first off, what inspired me to paint overall. So obviously Jackson Pollock is a huge thing for me. I've mentioned that many times, but seeing that he, you know, kind of disrupted a whole uh, art movement and that he is still famous. I mean, there's a lot of abstract painters that were famous, but he's still one of the founding people of modern art and the most famous. And some of his paintings were the most expensive paintings to buy from like these galleries and museums and stuff like that. And I watched the movie Pollock and I just, I was so fascinated with him. Um, and he's really the reason I started painting. So that inspires me. So him as an artist, like there's a few artists that inspire me. Um, Pollock is one of them because of, you know, just the fact that he was able to do what he did. And people mock that painting, but he's also still one of the most, I guess he's the most like popular. And if you think about like the idea that there's no bad publicity because bad publicity is good publicity, like people still mock him and they and they joke and they say, oh, anybody can do it. But that also keeps him famous. So if you really think about it, like that's just cool to me that he was able to do the stuff that he did, like, you know, something like that um, and be famous. And I just think that that's cool. But it inspires me because it. The thing I like about that style of painting is that you can look at that painting over and over and over again, and you can't remember exactly what it looks like. I mean, I've tried, maybe someone else can, but the painting above my desk, which I've, seen, I've shown in other videos, monochrome, I'm just gonna show it more time, I just love it. I, I don't know why, but I just, I, this is one of my favorite paintings I've ever done. But anyway, you look at a painting like this and you, you see it over and over and over, and no matter how many times you see it, you kind of you kind of have an idea of what it looks like, but you can't remember the exact look of it. And I just I don't know. I'm just fascinated with the fact that that he made these paintings and and he was so famous for. It. Uh, another thing that like another artist that inspires me is uh, is Gerard Richter. And this is where I started getting into like the scrape painting, like this one or um, like this. And it's because um, that style of painting, I don't know why, it, it's just the colors. Um, I think it's the, the fact that like, it doesn't mean anything. And some people are like, oh, painting has to mean something or you have to find a meaning. To be honest, like half the paintings I do, they don't have a, a meaning. I just, I see a picture in my head and I make it and that's that's my piece. And I can't, you know, I won't pretend to be, an elitist and everything has like this, oh my God, this represents life and blah, blah, blah. No, I don't do that. I make my pieces because I see the colors or the design of my head and I try to put that into reality. And it's very similar to writing because I, I have written, I've written actual books. Um, I just kind of like deleted them and took them off Amazon and stuff because I hated them. But anyway, but it's, a, it's the same thing. Like I've, I've realized that writing a book having a story trapped in your head and putting it to words is the same thing as seeing a picture in your mind for a painting and trying to put that on canvas. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Um, but anyway, Gerard Richter just really inspires me because again, he's like the most famous living painter right now. And, um, he, he even, he even admits like a lot of the, the modern art that's out there is garbage. And I agree with that, but still people buy it. And, some people are drawn to it and I don't know why I like a certain piece. I just do. And I can look at a piece that I've made and I either hate it or like it. doesn't matter if I've made it like, or if someone else has like that inspires me that you can make something that someone else doesn't like and you like it, even if it's something simple. Um, the last like artist that inspires me is Suarez and his real name is Ed. And he, uh, if you look up Suarez, like S W A R E Z, I give him a lot of shout outs and I mention him a lot because he's kind of an unofficial mentor to me. I don't know if he'll ever see this video, probably not, um, but he's re he really inspires me to, to continue painting. He's actually, you know, when I started getting into gloss enamel, 
Um, I learned that he uses it. He uses it a lot better than I do. He's a professional. He's very good. Um, but he's an unofficial mentor to me, and I really appreciate him for all of the work that he's done and just the way he carries himself in business. And, you know, I've learned a lot from him. Like this splash work that you see is because I, I wanted to try and break the that single just doing the same one over and over, like just a Pollock style or just, you know, the this modern abstract or just the poured painting. This splash thing is because I, I, I saw him kind of make something with this like splash effect and it just, it, I wanted to do it. And I made this one and I made, you know, this one over here, this modern royalty piece, you know, that really inspired me. And so he inspires me because he still, he does this professionally and he uses gloss enamel. And I'm like, if he can do it, I can do it, right? And he just has amazing work. He He's just an awesome guy. He's super nice. He even like talks to me on social media sometimes. The guy's just awesome. So, you know, those as artists inspire me. Now, what inspires me to keep going is the fact that like I'm never satisfied. I, no matter how many pieces I make or how many styles I do, I'm always pushing. But what really inspires me is the fact that I can make something out of nothing. You know, that's kind of me as a person. Like I enjoy, you know, using my hands to make something. And I guess for me, this is a physical rep representation of something I, I put my heart and soul into and it, and it became something that other people appreciate. You know, when I used to write, I used to feel like I was going nowhere because I'd spend hours writing all these words and it's just on this little document on your computer. And yeah, once you're done, you can show that to other people, but when you're writing, you don't like to show people because then it kind of changes how you write. And, um, but this, like, I can make it and I can show it to people and I can sell it and it's unique. You know, there will never be another painting like this. Even if I followed the same footsteps, this painting was different than any other painting I've made. And there's paintings I have that are similar. They were the same colors, same technique, but they are not the same. Um, but anyways, really what inspires me to keep going, even though I don't sell a lot of paintings or as many as I'd like to, um, what inspires me to keep going is just the fact that, like, I never, I'm never content with staying with one thing, and I just, keep, I just want to keep pushing the barriers, and um, really just having people appreciate the work that I do and buying it, especially, really just encourages me to keep going. Um, so I'm not sure what inspires you, what inspired you to start, or what in, inspires you to keep going, um, but I would challenge you to just, just keep pushing. You know what I mean? If you're in a rut where you're stuck, like. With a specific technique or you you don't like everything you do look i hate a lot of the work i do to be honest with you there's only certain pieces like i thought i liked that and now i don't like that one i really like this for now um this one i've never liked um you know there's other ones over there that i really do like you know you you like some pieces you hate a lot of other ones at least you're being honest with yourself um, but that's pretty much it. So I just, uh, my, I guess my question is, I'd like to end on a question like, what inspires you? Like, even if you don't paint, if you, if you do something else, what inspires you as a person? You know, what inspired you to start doing it? What inspires you to keep going? And what just overall, what inspires you kind of in the middle? Like, what, uh, what was the thing that made you want to do it? So yeah, you started and, you know, what keeps you going, but like, what inspires you all the time? You know what I mean? Recurring. So I'm actually just curious. Um, but if you like this video, please, you know, check out my other videos, check out my links, you know, like and subscribe and all that cool stuff. And, uh, and I'll catch you guys in another video. Okay. Take care.